Hi guys, welcome to another uh, tips and tricks uh, YouTube video by germinate.com. Uh, I don't remember don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up on the video. Uh, if you have any uh, thoughts on what we should uh, do as the next tips and tricks, uh, put it in the comment section, send us a comment, etc. Uh, so let's get going on Shopify sitemaps. Okay, so why do we need a site? This uh, this is a user uh, requested uh, video, by the way. So hopefully this will sort that particular user out and be useful for everyone else. So why do we need a sitemap? Okay, sitemaps, when they're submitted to Google, are basically um, pieces of metadata, information on how Google should best scan your website. It's going to help it get it in the index. It's going to help it improve. Okay, let's have a look at the website first. So we're going to go, we're going to work on just uh, greenbeans.com our sample website and the first thing i need to say is if we go here into preferences really important that the password must not be enabled it will not work if the password is enabled you cannot submit a site map to google if it's password protected you also can't verify your site with google if it's password protected okay so make sure that is enabled it's also worth waiting until you've got your proper domain name set up and connected if you do not have your proper domain name set up, then uh, you're going to have to do it again, basically, when uh, you get your domain name set up. So, you know, do it once, do it when it's set up. Now, the user who asked the question on this the, uh, said, uh, can they put a link in their uh, footer with the sitemap? Well, of course you could. You could just go to navigation, find your footer menu, and include a link to your sitemap. But frankly, um, it's going to be a link that's only useful for search engines, and you can submit it directly to the search engines. So there's really, I would, I would, uh, my answer would basically be no, don't do that. You can do it, but you know, just because you can doesn't mean you should. Okay, so let's have a look at how to find the sitemap in Shopify. So the sitemap, this is a, this is a sitemap. The sitemap is at your domain name slash sitemap.xml. Okay, and the way that Shopify builds your sitemap. Um, is that it has a main site sitemap and then it has these individual more complex sitemaps. So for example, if we look at the sitemap for the collections, this is our sitemap for the collections. It's got all of the collections that we have um, listed in here. Last time they were modified and how often they're uh, likely to be changed, which sort of gives Google an indication of how often it should scan the website. Okay, but so this is the only information you need, this sitemap, uh, dot XML. So let's look at how we can submit that to Google directly rather than putting a link in our footer. So first of all, you're going to want to go to your Google Webmaster account, uh, search it here, Google Webmaster, click on that, and then it's going to be it's in this search console. If you already have an account uh, with, with other uh, sites listed in it, it's going to open up that account and you can add a new website, a new what they call a new property to that. If you don't have an account, you're going to have is going to have to create one along the way. Okay, let's have a look at my. Oh, thought I had it open. Okay, let's just click that and open up my Google website and let's do add a property. Okay, so with Shopify, it's easier to use this URL prefix. Okay, so we are going to type in now, and I tried copying this a couple of times, did a copy and paste on it, and it didn't really work very well. So it's best to just, just screen beans.com and then I've got a continue button okay it's going to try and verify it and it's giving me some options now of how to do it it's by default it's saying put this HTML file on your uh, server well of course with Shopify you don't have access to do that but you do have access to do this HTML tag so let's just go in there copy the HTML tag in there copy Let's go back to our website and let's go into theme and we're going to we're going to customize the theme so that we can include we can do edit code here and we're going to include that in the very top of the theme which is this probably this theme dot liquid yeah we're looking for metadata and we're not looking for mobile specific metadata so let's just uh, find the regular old uh, metal me metadata like header and uh, where are we? It's going to be up here somewhere. Page titles, things like that, uh, unless it's in the header itself. Depending on your theme, it's either going to be here 
And we could put it up here, actually, in the top here. This will be fine. Stick it straight under this head and paste it in there. Okay, so it's the we've added a new meta tag, which is a Google Site Verification metal meta tag. If we save that and we go back here, right, we should be able to do a verify here. It may take a minute just to update, but hopefully it'll just uh, it'll work out fine. Okay, that worked, so it's good. We've got it. It's confirmed our ownership. So now it's going to send me off to a page specifically set up for this property, i.e. my green, just greenbeans.com. And here we can submit a sitemap. And the sitemap is going to be located at sitemap.xml. And that's just standard across all Shopify stores. We're going to submit that. And it says it was successful. Now it hasn't done the search yet it hasn't gone through it and and looked for errors and things so you're going to want to come back here at some point after it's been run give it 24 hours or so let it uh, see what it does make sure that it doesn't have any errors but that's how you submit a sitemap to google google's now going to go off and uh, you know do its stuff and, and index that website now in this particular case i don't want it to do that so i'm going to put the password protection back on Okay, but that's how you do it. Hope that's useful. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to my channel and like the video if it's useful. Comments in the box if you want us to look at any other topics. Have a great day.